some of the things I have to do here. I'm going to rake up all these old pine needles, move those old chunks of wood, take them up, somehow burn them or take them somehow to get rid of. I got to level off this area back here where the old cottage used to be. And because there might be nails and things still there, I'm going to lay some gravel down first. There's a pile of old over here, it's rotten wood. That was cut when we first cleared the land about 10 years ago. Most of it's rotten. Got to mow the grass here. Whippersnip. Got to cut this row of trees along here. Uh, but today I think it's going to be an easier day. I'm just going to rake those pine needles like I said along here. There's a board right along here that's a part of an old sill of the cottage that's still been in there. It was buried under brush that I removed yesterday. I'm going to use the tractor and lift that out and move it. Show you that, doing that. And I've got a load of gravel. It's going to mixture your soil and gravel. And a large part of what I'm going to try and do today before the rain comes. You see the cloud moving in over there in the distance. But it's an area here that's been eroding away. It's still lawn, but it's sloping and falling down. And I'm just leveling this off roughly, and I'll do some more hand raking. Get this down so it's more close to the same level height. Especially here and along the edge or some more over here where we cut. through and there's some nice flowers and things that haven't quite come up yet that haven't bloomed and uh, so I've got the wheels on either side but I don't want to come too far to damage those I really do need to cut these trees down and I could drive right in here sounds kind of backwards if you will but I'm leaving the trees because I got such a mess up here I don't want I guess just a little bit of embarrassment yet and if I can get this done in the next day or two next week it's been here like for about a year now at least since last well, wherever since we tore down the cottage I left the deck there and those blocks of wood that we cut down last fall so until I can get that out but once I cut these trees and this garden can start to come back and get some sun it'll be nice that's why today I want to start and get rid of some of that old sill over here, rake this up and maybe start taking some of these chunks and I'd move them and just put them on the ground but they're full of ants.
interesting construction when they built way back. This was a cottage that originally was built in the 1950s, mid 1950s. And you can see the wood here, it's wet, but it's still, for the most part, it's still structurally sound. They used to put this aluminum or tin on it, and it was right against the wood. But some of it was actually wrapped around, and you'd think that would actually hold the moisture. You can see down there where it was actually wrapped underneath. But yet the wood didn't rot, or very little, even after 70 years, is it? So uh, this is 2020, and this was built in the mid, well, 65 years. Anyway, so, see the piece here is a little more exposed, tin is off it. Yes, there's some rock, but considering it's been down in the ground, see where it was buried. And there's some insect gathering, and this back corner was really bad for ants. But, you know, the nails, kind of pull them out by hand, they're still in there. So it's not like they're totally rotten, or they're sure what kind of wood it is. I'm not an expert on that. But it's definitely not pressure treated. And uh, anyway, I'll get rid of that. I'm going to fill in this little area here. That pile of pine needles and branches that are left over, I'll put in the bucket. There's an area over here, kind of in the woods, that I'll dump over. And uh, it'll eventually decompose and help to feed the trees and the grass over there.
just about a day for today. The sun is just it's all gone. The sky is full of clouds. Winds come up. See the waves. It's white caps out a little bit. The thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and load up this beam. Move it over here just out of the way. Anyway, this is gone. It's been a good day. Got a few things done. No sweat. And uh, hopefully, if you like this, subscribe to my channel. Do tractor videos, woodworking, some landscaping, working on the lawn. And I try to put out a video at least twice a month. Uh, hopefully more often if I, if I can. Take care. Everyone be safe.